Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the renovation of Longcom Tony Doll Ultrawear. So let's look at that new sleek look. Same frosted glass with that beautiful Longcom logo. Same embossed rose top. Just a sleek new look and that new innovative formula including airwear technology. Okay, so let's get started trying the new Tony Doll Ultrawear renovation from Lancome. So as I just described, on first sight in terms of comparison of the two bottles, there's not much difference. Same height, same frosted glass, very similar if not just slightly different tops. Uh, the biggest difference is what is written on the front. So the new Tony Doll Ultrawear has a very sleek bottle with Lancome branding down the side. There's not much difference in terms of overall shape, but just the front of the bottle. When Lancome launched Curtain Glow, Ultrawear Curtain Glow, they changed their numbering. So in the Curtain Glow, I wear the 240W, but I actually have the 250W in the Ultrawear, which I, uh, I, I've been really liking that colour. So if you remember, the original Lancome foundation is a 24 hour wear. It's breathable, it's full coverage, and it's a velvet matte finish. It had an SPF 15 and 45 shades. Let's talk about the new formula. So the new formula is still 45 shades. It's still 24 hour wear, but now it has airwear technology and it's ultra breathable, ultra comfortable and ultra thin. It's a buildable full coverage, which I personally love, and it's a natural matte. It's also ultra life proof. It's been tested in extreme conditions on all skin tones, all skin types. The biggest difference for me is the SPF has jumped up to 35. It has an 81% serum base with vitamin E, hyaluronic acid and moringa. And again, available in 45 shades, so an amazing shade lineup. Now, as I said before, the shade range has now changed to be in line with Kering Glow. I'm now wearing a 250 Warm. So, shall we put this foundation on? I'm looking quite pink. My uh, tan has been done very naturally, so I want to try and match up the warmth, which of course I have that warmer undertone in this foundation. I want to try and match it up with the redness in my face. So let's do our Lancome skincare. I like to do a bit of a double serum. I'm going to use my Advanced Genifee and my Renegade Triple Serum. So I'm going to take my Triple Serum. I like it on my head because I like quite a lot of hydration onto my head and that's where I have a lot of texture and I find that the triple serum really retexturizes any kind of lumps and bumps I have on my skin because of that triple acid resurfa resurfacing formula. Also triple serum is my chin saviour. <laughs> Anywhere really that I have a lot of texture I use my triple serum. Now I'll go in with my beloved Genifique. Genifique for me is more like a big drink of water for my skin. I feel like because it is that youth activating serum, it really pumps hydration into my cheeks. Now, my day-to-day -day moisturizer recently has been Lancome Absolute. It's a little bit more of a spend, but honestly, this moisturizer has really revolutionized my skincare. I've never had as many compliments on the hydration level of my skin than I have when I'm using Absolute. This is the soft cream version. I've never tried the rich version of it. I don't know if the rich version obviously is a lot more heavy, but I find the soft cream just perfect. Absolute is the only luxury cream I've ever tried that I actually can still wear my makeup without it breaking down over the top. I really have fallen in love with Lancome skincare this year. I really use it quite a bit. And especially Genifique, Genifique Sensitive. If you've not yet discovered Lancome skincare, everything I've used I'll link below, but honestly, it's a bit of a game changer for your routine. Okay, now the reason we're here, the new Ultra Wear renovation. So let's talk about this as we apply it. So as we said, it's still that 24 hour wear. It's so blendable. I actually done a lot of the trainings um, for this when we were about to launch it in the UK because I do assist with long com training sometimes. And honestly, I, I, this is probably my first full time trying it on my own face. I've tried it on other people, but the blendability of this is absolutely gorgeous. It's not too heavy. It doesn't feel like a traditional 
heavy duty foundation you're still getting a very seamless blend there's nothing that looks too heavy or chalky which a lot of the times with a full coverage foundation you do find that once it's on you find that you're really blending it to take away rather than to cover the actual skin but as you can see this is just sitting on top of that beautiful skincare regime from Lancome ah, I love this so the difference between our Kerin Glow formula which is the sheerer formula is that it's a medium buildable finish. It's a healthy glow foundation. It's 82% skincare versus the 81 in the new Ultra Wear renovation. And it's that long-term hydration because of that hyaluronic acid and that mandelic acid to resurface the skin. It actually does have long-term skincare effects on it as well. I'm quite happy with that finish. I don't think today I'll take it any further up, but you can see that it's completely covered all my redness. I'm still getting a beautiful glow coming through my skin because of that skincare base, but I definitely have a fuller coverage foundation on. You can tell that it's really eliminated anything flaw-wise that I'd like to cover, which for me is what I look for in a foundation. I am a fuller coverage girl. If my skin's particularly good, I'll be going for a foundation like Kerin Glow, but when I want full coverage, and most importantly for me, because I am on the go all day, I need the longevity. So thus far, very impressed. Let's start to do the rest of the face. So the Tony Dill Ultra Wear All Over Concealer really is a viral product for Lancome. It's just, and this is a perfect color with this foundation shade, it's just a beautiful concealer. It's not heavy, it's not chalky, it's definitely got a lovely fluidity to it. And it went a little bit viral on TikTok. And honestly, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I haven't put this concealer down. It really is my go-to at this point. So I like to just take it in that kind of like down the nose center and lift it there to the edge of my eye. I take a little bit extra coverage on the places that I know rub off more. So my chin, my top lip, and my nose and even I like a little bit around the sides of my nose as well. Don't want anything on my forehead today because I think we've got enough coverage and we'll just start to blend. Now I'm taking a little bit of my usual setting powder, setting the face down. I'll do some contour and highlight and then finish this look off just with a quick voiceover. So a little bit of bronzer from Reeve just to give myself a bit of a sculpt and I went in to create those Bella Hadid skinny brows. I'm obsessed with these right now, not only because my eyebrows are quite thin, but just because I feel like it arches my face. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in Ebony. Then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Mini and this is the Half Baked. I wanted to mattify my eye and give a very small outer eye contour and then I used my setting spray and eyeshadow trick to create a matte brown wing. Then I'm using the Lancome Silis XL Booster. This is the best eyelash primer. And then I went in with the Idol Mascara. But I really like mixing the Idol Mascara with the Grandiose Mascara. I love Grandiose at the root. I love the Idol simply to separate and finish the ends of the lash. Okay, I've done a very quick Bella Hadid-esque skinny brow moment, which I'm loving right now because I have skinny brows skinny quick matte brown wing with some voluptuous Lancome lashes mixing my two favourite Idol and Grandiose lash. Now I'm going to use this. I love this. This is a Lancome Pigeon Blood Ruby 481. I've got a little feeling it might be discontinued. If I can find it I'll link it below. I just love this. I really wish they would bring it back if it is discontinued. I'll definitely link it below if I find it, but it stays all day. And for me, who loves a classic like ruby red lip, perfection. Okay, final thoughts. Airwear technology, SPF 35, definitely looking like a full coverage moment now that I've built it up with my powder, my bronzer, my highlighter. I kept everything quite minimal though, I kept it just about the base itself. Very small eye look to complement the bold lip. It is a fantastic foundation. If you love the original Lancome foundation, you are certainly going to love this renovation and improvement on that original formula.
looking at the two there's not a massive difference it's still the 45 shades the 24 hour wear that long Tony dull wearers will love but that improved height of SPF up to 35 SPF now the shade renovation now fits in line with your Tony Doll Kerring Glow and an overall amazing, innovative, at the cutting edge of technology, full cover foundation. Shop it below now in my links. I'm going to link them all down there for you. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys, and I will see you on the next one.